and a really exciting few days. Stockport next Tuesday, but first of all, Wrexham on Saturday. Yeah, brilliant few days for us. I think for any, anybody associated with Colchester United, they've got me super excited about what is to come. Um, we play Wrexham and then, and then Stockport County, and it's always great to play the, the, the best teams in the division, and we're obviously really looking forward to it. And you know, the position we're in, it's got to be about us first, and you know, worry less about the opposition and just making sure we're doing everything we need to do. I think so. I, I think for us, we, we had a really good Easter. I think we take four points from, from the two games. We had a brilliant game on, on Good Friday. I thought the support at home was just incredible, the way they stayed with the team. Um, we had so many chances second half. We had so much dominance in that game. and Unfortunately, we couldn't take those chances. And the crowd just stayed really patient, stayed with us. And I think they played their part in that, that win because I think if they'd got frustrated, then maybe Ellis puts the ball in the box earlier than he did. He ended up being patient, working it round to Jay off the switch of play and then Jay and Harry connect, combined and we scored that goal and had that brilliant moment. And it, when we left the stadium on the Friday, it was such a, such a great feeling and it felt like such a connection between the players and the, and the supporters, which, which is so important. And of course, we find out that just earlier this week that the, the, the game is sold out in the, in the home end, which is just incredible. I don't, I, don't think there's, I don't think there's another team that is in the position that we're in that, that sells their home, the, the home end out. And uh, yeah, we're so thankful to the people of Colchester and the people of Essex that they, uh, that they, they get behind the team in the way that they do. Yeah, and, and, and how easy or difficult is it going to be or has it been to keep the players focused on the football rather than the Wrexham story, if you like, going on on Saturday? Or has it been easy because you know that they're focused anyway? Well, I think we went to watch Wrexham on Tuesday night at Doncaster. So I think we had a good opportunity to watch them live, which I think is always helpful. Um, yeah, the Wrexham story, I, I see it as a really good one. Um, you know, as the Braintree manager and the Lincoln manager, I went to Wrexham in their darker days when they were stuck in non-league. Um, big club, but a club that was really suffering. But I had a support base that was so loyal and really stayed with their, with their team. And it's for those guys that I feel most happy for. The, the guys, that, the supporters that stayed with their team through those difficult periods in non-league. And of course, the last two seasons under, under Ryan Reynolds and Rob McLean has just been a... It's just been a fairy tale. Yeah, it's been an amazing story. Uh, brilliant for, for Welsh football. I think brilliant for our pyramid. And, uh, and, and the Football League, I think it's real, real profile across the, across the world. So, um, yeah, a lot, to, a lot to, to respect, really. And, um, yeah, of course, Phil Parkinson, a manager that the Colchester supporters will know well. Um, brilliant what he created in his first job, I believe, um, to, get, to get Colchester United to the Championship. Was, yeah. Just amazing. Um, and yeah, I think since then he's obviously worked at big clubs like Bolton Wanderers and Bradford City and now another big club at Wrexham and he's been able to bring success wherever, he, wherever he's been. So a lot to admire, a lot to respect. Um, for us, we are a team that is growing. We're 13 games in. I think we've taken points in 11 of those 13 games. I think the, the understanding, the, the, our identity, um, our spirit are growing, our connection with the supporters is growing. We're unbeaten at home since we've been here and we are, we're really looking forward to the challenges that, that, that Saturday brings. Yeah, and you, you mentioned there about the difficult times that Wrexham have had and the fans that stayed with them. You know, we're in a difficult period, but like you say, we're, we're selling out for in the home ends where it looks like uh, the, the, the city and the, the county want, want Colchester United to do well and want to back the players. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I think for us, you know, I think the boys were, were surprised when I told them this morning that we were sold out, but they were so appreciative and so pleased. And um, yeah, we know that it's not going to be an 11 man job. I think we have seven games in 21 days from Saturday. Um, it's not going to be an 11 man job. It's going to need the whole squad. Um, it's going to need the boys coming from the bench, the finishers to come on and impact the game like they did at Newport County, like they did against Tranmere on the Monday. It's going to need the boys outside the squad to stay really professional, to keep, to keep training really hard so that when the opportunity comes that they're ready. I actually think those boys are probably more important than the boys that start because it's going to need, it's going to need the whole squad. Um, it's going to need all of the staff because the workload is going to be big and we have to see the challenge, we have to enjoy the challenge, we have to run straight towards the challenge. And of course, our supporters, um, you support Arsenal, you support Man City, um, you go maybe as the, 
the spectator, you go to watch the game, you go to be entertained, almost like you're going to the theatre. Well, in League Two, in Colchester United, you go, of course, to enjoy the game, but to know that you can actually play a part in the outcome of the game and that you can influence the game. And go back to Good Friday, Newport County, the way the supporters, the, 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 the energy and the enthusiasm in the stadium at that game, they, their will got us over the line. And they have such an important part to play. So, yeah, my, my advice, my, um, my team talk to the supporters are, yeah, have the early night on the Friday night, not too many beers, being, being the best position come Saturday morning to, to get to the ground early, to support the players, to create the atmosphere, to drive their energy, because we're going to need everybody. And I mean everybody connected to this football club that has this football club in their heart. We're going to need them all to bring their very, very best version of themselves because we play Saturday to try to win the match.